Welcome to the Folktale Project, this is Dan Scholes. Today we're starting three new stories, and these tales are coming to us from China. In particular, our first story is coming to us from the Chinese fairy book. This is The Fire God. Long before the time of Fu He, Chu Yong, the magic welder, was the ruler of men. He discovered the use of fire, and succeeding generations learned from him to cook their food. Hence, his descendants were entrusted with the preservation of fire, while he himself was made the fire god. He is a personification of the Red Lord, who showed himself at the beginning of the world as one of the five ancients. The fire god is worshipped as the lord of the holy southern mountain. In the skies, the fiery star, the southern quarter of the heavens, and the red bird belong to his domain. When there is danger of fire, the fiery star glows with a peculiar radiance. When countless number of fire crows fly into a house, a fire is sure to break out in it. In the land of the four rivers, there dwelt a man who was very rich. One day, he got into his wagon and set out on a long journey, and he met a girl, dressed in red, who begged him to take her with him. He allowed her to get into the wagon and drove for a half a day without even looking in her direction. Then, the girl got out again and said in farewell, You are truly a good and honest man, and for that reason I must tell you the truth. I am the fire god. Tomorrow a fire will break out in your house. Hurry home at once to arrange your affairs and save what you can. Frightened, the man faced his horses about and drove home as fast as he could. All that he possessed in the way of treasures, clothes, and jewels he removed from the house. And when he was about to lie down to sleep, a fire broke out on the hearth, which could not be quenched until the whole building had collapsed in dust and ashes. Yet, thanks to the fire god, the man had saved all of his movable belongings. And that is the Chinese tale of the fire god and you know it's just an interesting story to be quite frank the fiery star is of course Mars burning red and you know I love these tales that that will link an action or an event in the world with the representation in the heavens and in this case both the fiery star and the red bird which is constellations in the southern part of the heavens this is Dan Scholes with the Folktale Project don't forget that you can subscribe to the podcast on Apple Podcasts Stitcher, Google Play, Overcast anywhere you like to get your podcasts you can follow us on Twitter at Folktale Project you can find us on Auto Radio TuneIn Radio, iHeart Radio, Spotify anywhere you'd like to listen. And you can always head over to folktaleproject.com where you'll find a new story waiting for you every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. As always, thank you so much for listening.